in a sample of pure water, some of the water molecules present dissociate and split apart, becoming a H plus ion and hydroxide ion, OH minus. This means there is an equilibrium system established between water molecules, H2O, H plus ions and OH minus ions. Now, pretty usefully for us humans and for life in general, the position of this equilibrium lies very far to the left, meaning only a very small percentage of H2O molecules are dissociated at any one time in water. Furthermore, because each molecule of water that dissociates produces equal amounts of H plus and OH minus ions, the solution formed is neither acidic nor alkaline and is described as neutral, as a pure sample of water will always contain equal concentrations of H plus and OH minus ions. However, the fact that some molecules do dissociate means we can think of water as a weak acid here, as if we remind ourselves of a weak acid dissociating, it gives the reversible reaction and equilibrium HA to H plus and A minus. This looks alarmingly similar to the dissociation of water molecules. A reversible reaction and equilibrium H2O to H plus ions and OH minus ions. If we treat water as a weak acid, we can write out an expression to find its acid dissociation constant, Ka. If Ka equals concentration of H plus times concentration of A minus divided by concentration of HA, then for water, Ka equals concentration of H plus times concentration of OH minus divided by concentration of H2O. We can rearrange this to give Ka times concentration of H2O equals concentration of H plus times concentration of OH minus. Now, you may have spotted something odd here. Concentration of H2O. Moles of H2O in one decimeter cubed of liquid. Because the amount of H plus ions and OH minus ions compared to H2O molecules is always going to be incredibly small, the moles of H2O present in one decimeter cubed of water is effectively constant and won't ever change, meaning it can be considered a constant value. Looking at our expression, we now have two constants, Ka and concentration of water. Well, a constant value times another constant value will give another constant value. In this case, we call this new constant Kw, the ionic product of water. Kw equals concentration of H plus times concentration of OH minus, with the units moles to the power 2, decimeter to the power minus 6. As we are times in two concentrations together, mole per decimeter cubed times mole per decimeter cubed equals mole to the power 2 times decimeter to the power minus 6.